the game of things, how to play. Each player needs a pencil and either a scrap piece of paper or the perforated paper that comes with the game. One player is the reader and reads a card, for example, things that you need to survive. Everyone, including the reader, writes a response to the card along with their name or initials, folds it in half and gives it to the reader. Once all the responses are turned in, the reader shuffles them and reads them all twice. Players cannot take notes but must remember the options. If there are more than eight players, then you only read each response once. Starting to the left of the reader and proceeding clockwise, players take turns trying to match a response with the player who they think wrote it. You cannot try to match to the reader. If the player matches correctly, they receive one point, which is marked down on the score pad, and then they are allowed to guess again. Additionally, the player who they matched is eliminated from the round. If they match incorrectly, they don't receive any points, and their turn ends and no one is eliminated. If you don't know who to guess or you can't remember, you can pass your turn. End each round when only one player hasn't been matched or if all the remaining players sequentially all pass their turn. The remaining players split six points. If there are more than six players left, then no one receives any points. The role of the reader rotates clockwise by one and all eliminated players are back in the new round. Draw a new card and repeat. The game ends when everyone has been the reader. Count up the points and whoever has the most wins.